Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to Emily's Autism Life. And if you're new, welcome. So what I would thought I would talk about today is clumsiness. Now, I'm sure a lot of people in general are clumsy, but yeah, I think I and I don't know if this is part of me having autism or not is, but you know, I am I didn't I do tend to be pretty clumsy. Like I'll bump into stuff a lot. Yeah, sometimes what happens is is I I'll just like maybe bump into something or I might, you know, trip, you know, on nothing. You know, like I'll trip on like I'll just my shoe will drag across somewhere and I'll just trip, you know, a little bit. Kind of stumble, you know. But yeah, that's what happens is, you know, sometimes I I feel like I'm I'm clumsy and I tend to stumble and bump into stuff. Oh. Now some of my clumsiness comes from when I'm like pacing back and forth. You know, kind of, kind of like how I showed you that I do. Pacing back and forth either in my room or, or wherever. You know, I can, you know, get pretty clumsy doing that. Like I slip up and like bump into something. Like like this maybe this example this bookshelf right here. Like I might accidentally Maybe like bump into it kind of like that, you know, because some when I pace around my room, I tend to walk kind of fast, you know, because I'm usually pretty hyperactive or depending on how I, hyperactive I am. Now, if I'm not that hyperactive, I doesn't I doesn't happen as often. But when I'm more hyperactive and walking around the room, I feel like I'm more likely to bump into something like maybe my bookshelf or my uh, dresser right here or just anything else. And sometimes I bump into stuff to the point where, you know, it hurts pretty bad and I end up getting a bruise there. You know, sometimes I see bruises on me and I don't know how I got them. I mean, it's most likely from bumping into, bumping into stuff because I'm clumsy. Like there have been times where I've hit my toes on things. I've hit my knee on stuff. Like I bumped my elbow on things, you know. So that can be, you know, unfortunate if you're someone like me who's clumsy. You know, and you bump and you bump into stuff and hurt, hurt yourself unintentionally. Like you unintentionally, you know, you end up getting a bruise there and you just, you know, that's, that's unfortunate, you know, if unfortunate, if you're clumsy like me, you, you tend to bump into stuff and like, and then sometimes it can hurt even pretty bad. There have even been times I think where I've even, because of my clumsiness, has also caused me to like knock stuff over or I think, yeah, I think that's happened before where I've actually knocked stuff over by accident because it was just clumsy. You know, I'm trying to do something and I accidentally knocked something over, you know, kind of a thing. You know, that's why I don't trust myself sometimes with carrying fragile things because, you know, sometimes I'm clumsy and if I carry like fragile and heavy things, you know, I have to go very slow because you know sometimes I don't even trust myself because I might like because I'm sometimes clumsy I'm, I'm afraid that I might accidentally drop it or or break it or something now I'm not super clumsy like not like ex extreme I'm not like a person who's extremely clumsy and I don't think even there's anybody that is but even if there is you know there's nothing you can do about it but but I'm not extremely clumsy. I'm just, you know, a little clumsy kind of here and there. You know, I'm, yeah, kind of a little clumsy. I just feel like I'm not, sometimes I just feel like I'm not stable. And I, when I do, when I'm trying to walk around or do something and, you know, I accidentally bump into something or accidentally knock something over or accidentally trip a little bit. It doesn't happen very often but it can happen sometimes. So it is kind of a little unfortunate that I am a little clumsy, but you know, I know a lot of people are out there are clumsy and I'm not the only one. And, you know, I guess there's really, like I said, I guess there's really not much you can do about it, but you know, it's just, just the way you are and you just have to accept that. And you can always try to be as careful as you can, but sometimes stuff like when you're clumsy, stuff like that just happens. 
for those who are also on the spectrum and are watching this, leave a comment down below if you are also clumsy. And that's going to be it for today, guys. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this, make sure to like, subscribe, comment, and please, please, please share. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.